but of course he can get three points if he wins this stage. Six seconds. Go! And the master of the finish roads leaves the start line. It's a long, fairly fast straight, building up speed. Watch for the uncanny accuracy of this man, winner of this rally for the last five years as he comes now to the first corner it is a, a right-hander and we watch him set the car up here beautifully controlled comes to the center line and a very straight exit this is why this man is so so good and we can just hear in the background Minisamaki calling the notes to Tommy as he goes through the tree into this left-hander and up over the first of the blind crest which Finland is so famous for. Comes down now into a right-hander, sets the car up, slides it through the corner as he just goes, disappears out of sight. Now he's through that corner, coming to this crest. Which way does it go? Slightly left over it. But you can see the car working very well. Tommy not working too hard at the steering. That means the car is working efficiently. Over this crest again. Many, many crests on this rally. Into the left-hander. The time ticking away in the right-hand corner. That's the one to look for. Now he comes down. Watch the time at the tree give you an idea of how well the others do against him. 122. Beautifully through that corner. No oversteer. That's the key to it. You must keep the car moving forwards. The dust is flying at the moment. Little damp, though, in places. Watch the uncanny line, the way he sets the cars up to go into the jumps and lands always pointing in the right direction, or at least he hopes so. We're coming to a sequence in a minute, which is quite breathtaking. Whoa, wonderful control, nearly in the ditch there, but absolutely right on the button. Here's the first midpoint time, 1.56, that's the top, oh, 2.02. We've got a little hiccup in the timing, 2.02.98. That's the one to look forward. Over this crest, going left. The suspension working really well. Minisamaki took calling the notes. Tommy really working hard. He wants three points from this special stage. Beautiful. Look at the line here, right out on the outside, bringing it into the apex and then exiting the next corner going right so he doesn't go too far to the right. Beautiful control. This man is a master. Absolute master is Tommy Mackinnon. Now watch the split time over this crest. 2.55, that's another one to look forward to for the future when the other cars come. Beautiful landing, the car just lands, absorbs the energy without any hiccups thereafter. That gives the driver immense confidence as he comes now very close to the finish. And he will burst into view. And his time, 3.21.25. That is the target for all the others to, to go for. Now, has Tommy done enough to secure three points as he comes to the line? He had nothing to lose because this last special stage counts in the rally. And here we go, and I think Tommy is going to give interview. Tommy, do you think that your speed was fast enough to get some points? That's a, that's a big question. It's, uh, it was uh, as fast as I could find immediately. It's, it was quite difficult to find good speed and place, ex exactly the best place to start the braking. And, uh, and so on, but it was, I, I did what I could. 